everyone, welcome back to Sew Me Sunshine's YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all of your orders this week. We really, really appreciate it as always. This week on the channel, we are gonna be talking about fabrics for summer. We've got some really, really fun fabrics that have just come in that are cottons. We've got some viscoses. We've also got some new um, notions as well for you to add on to your makes. So that's really exciting for us. And so let's get started. So I'm going to start off by telling you about what I am wearing. So this is a Tassuti pattern and it is the Eva dress. It's the Eva bodice and then it's just got a rectangle skirt um, put on. I really like these patterns because they've got really good pockets, um, which is, as we all know, we love a pocket in a dress. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing and it's just in some a really nice cotton that I picked up at a jumble sale, I think. First, the first thing I want to talk to you about today is the fact that we are now stocking Rick Rack. We are so excited to um, stock this and uh, I think I'm going to make another one of these dresses and I'm going to put some Rick Rack on it around the collar. We've got two sizes of Rick Rack. We've got Jumbo Rick Rack in the white. So it's pretty big as you can see. It's fantastic. I love it. I'm going to put it on everything. And then we've got a, um, a more sort of standard sized Rick Rack in a bunch of different colours um, which is this. So it's, I think it's 1.5 centimetres um, wide this Rick Rack and we've got it in pink, black, sort of a royal blue colour, a really nice khaki green, uh, lilac -y, lavender colour obviously, thank you Jenny, obviously. Um, this one's called Barn Red, it's a really nice rich red colour and then we've got white in the standard Rick Rack as well. So we're really excited to stock this, we've got a couple of other different notions going online this week as well. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out uh, for that. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter, um, subscribe because you get 10% off and also you find out what is new in and, it, and Jenny writes two uh, newsletters a week. One comes out on Tuesday and one comes out on a Friday. So our first fabric we're going to be showing you this week is a new viscose lawn. It's red, it's incredibly soft and floaty, um, it's got this beautiful floral print which I think is a white and a black. The best thing about this fabric though, um, other than the standard qualities that we expect from a viscose lawn, is that it's got a broderie anglaise style edge. So one of the selvages is, um, is embroidered and has the cutouts that you, um, you know from bro broderie anglaise. And it's a kind of off-white um, embroidery and then it's got this scalloped edge and it is just beautiful. So you could use this on a sleeve, along the bottom of a skirt or a dress or a trouser leg. That would look amazing. Um, so if you're thinking about making some viscose long culottes or something like that, it would look really good on that. We thought it would be a really good addition to the LED wrap dress because you could use um, this edge down the edge of a, the wrap dress so um, to make it like something a little bit different and a little bit of feature or as we said you could have it going around the bottom so you could use this fabric on so it's going lengthwise because this selvage it's got a standard selvage and then it's got um, this decorative selvage or you could use it crosswise um, and you could cut, cut it across the gra grain. Either way, it'll work. Um, so yeah, we're really excited to see people making stuff with this. Our next fabric is this gorgeous um, viscose crepe. It's part of the Fabric Godmother collection. It's got this pinky, back, pinky peachy background and then these beautiful red flowers with green stems. It's non-directional and as you can see, the pattern is kind of a medium-sized pattern. Um, it's got really good opacity so you wouldn't have to line it and it's got really beautiful drape as well. So um, we thought to utilise this amazing floral pattern we would uh, suggest the Tyker dress from Named Patterns. It's been really popular this dress, it's a kind of um, tea, tea dress style um, and it's got these really beautiful gathered sleeves and buttons down the front. We've got lots and lots of shirting buttons um, in stock at the moment and one set that I thought matched really well are these hard tied buttons from the Pigeon Wishes Cut One Pair um, collaboration. They're really, really sweet. The pink matches almost perfectly. Um, and as I said, we've got lots of different, si um, different shirting buttons. So take a look at the buttons as well if you're thinking of making this dress. This fabric has got us at Somi Sunshine HQ really excited. We 
love it. It is a sort of 80s inspired cotton poplin, so it's quite um it's got quite a sort of structured drape. Um it's got really good opacity as well, even though it is um mainly on a white background. Um but it's got this kind of lilac-y purple, it's got golden yellow, bright red and green. We absolutely love it. Pineapples, deck chairs, leaves, fish everything you'd want in a summer fabric really um, and as I said we absolutely love it so um, we can't wait to see what people are making. The two things that we um, thought it would be really well suited to were firstly um, a really jazzy pair of dungarees so the pattern that we went for was the Burnside bibs because you can make this out of a lot of different weights of fabric um, and um, including a kind of lighter weight cotton or woven so that this one's the first um, option. The second is making it, we, we thought it would be really good um, as a blouse and especially you can make something with really big sleeves or like a statement collar. So we went for the patina blouse from Friday Pattern Company because um, it would just lend itself really well and because it, it's such a nice crisp cotton you could get some really nice crisp finishes as well on your sewing. So those are our two suggestions and we are so excited to see what people make. So next up we have a really beautiful versatile fabric from Meat Milk. It is the Soft Mint Sabre Shear Viscose with Tensile Fibres. It's got this really beautiful grid texture running through it. Um, it's got pretty good opacity despite the fact it being called Shear, so I don't think you probably wouldn't have to line it in my opinion. Um, but if you wanted to, of course you can. And um, it's this really nice versatile colour, um, which will suit, it kind of goes spring through autumn, which is really great. It's a really nice minty green colour. Um, the two patterns that we pulled out are fabrics that are patterns that don't require too much fabric, because we know that it is quite an expensive fabric. So um, if you're looking to have like a really luxurious piece of clothing, you could make the Ogden cami for um, the summer. It's really nice and also you can wear it under, you use it for layering. We love to layer, as you know. Um, so I made this in some dead stock and I, it, I just love it. I wear it all the time. Um, so that's one option. And then the other option is view A of the cello top from Closet Core, um, which I don't know if you can see that, it looks like that. Um, and that both of these patterns require around the 1.5 meter mark um, of fabric so um, you could uh, yeah as I said it's they don't require too much so you could have something that's really beautiful and really luxurious in your wardrobe so this is a new color for us um, in our collection of cotton double gauzes so we've got um, a, a number of different colors but this one is called vanilla it's a really nice neutral tone it's a beautiful um, lightweight fabric and it's the double gauze so it's got two layers of fabrics that have been sort of woven together um, and it is just it's a really nice as uh, again versatile fabric for the summer you can make lots of different things out of it from shirts um, I know that the Anthea blouse from Anna Allen is a really popular one in double gauze and um, the pattern that we thought would be really nice for this one because it's got lots of lovely drape um, but it's also kind of it's kind of holds its structure quite well despite it being incredibly soft is the Florence from Merchant and Mills. Um, this is a really nice pattern. It's similar to the dress that I'm wearing today. It's kind of smocky with a gathered skirt and it's got buttons up the back. Now we do stock Merchant and Mills buttons as well. And we've got the cotton buttons, which are the right size in lots and lots of different colors. And um, we do have one that actually matches this, which is a kind of, I think it's called a crew, but we thought it'd be really nice to um, have a contrast and Jenny picked out this colour, which is Boston Fall. I don't know if you can see it. It's a really nice sort of mid-brown tan colour. And I think for this pattern, all you need is three buttons and a matching thread. Don't forget, we do do a thread match service as well. So if you're picking fabrics, um, tick the box which said, yes, I'd like a thread match. And we'll match a thread as best as we can to the fabric. That's also an option for you. So yeah, we thought this with these buttons would be really beautiful on the Florence. The next fabric we are gonna show you today is a viscose linen. It's from See You at Six and it is called Chutney Brown. It's a really nice medium weight linen. Um, it's got a lot of structure. It's, it's really beautiful. And it is in this sort of 
rusty brown colour um, and it's got quite a visible slub running through it as well which is um, really nice and we thought that it would make a fab Zadi jumpsuit. We know how popular the Zadi is and um, and what's great about the Zadi is that there are no zips, no buttons, all you need is one spool of thread and as I said we offer a thread matching surface so don't forget to tick the box. Um, it, Jenny, we, we were just talking about this and Jenny was saying how she's actually wearing a Zadie jumpsuit today and if you didn't want to do the binding on the sort of outside so it's visible, um, you can just use fold it in like you would sort of standard bias binding. Um, you will lose a little bit off each edge but um, it means that you don't have to also cut binding if you don't want to, you can just use ready made and just it'll be on the inside instead of being visible. So that's um, a really good idea. But yeah, this fabric is really nice. It would lend itself really well to jumpsuits, to dresses and to trousers. Um, skirts, pretty much anything actually to be perfectly honest you can make a t-shirt out of it um, so yeah this is a really beautiful really versatile and as we said um, it's just really gorgeous and a really nice weight for summer up next we have an enzyme wash linen we really love enzyme wash linens at Sony Sunshine they are a staple here so we've got them in lots and lots of different colors we've got some more colors we've got some new colors coming in very soon as well um, this is uh, the olive green color it's um, exactly what you expect from a an enzyme wash linen or a linen it's really soft the enzyme washing means that it's already been treated so to soften it so it's not so abrasive um, which is really nice and uh, it's got beautiful drape you wouldn't need to line it and you can make lots of different things from it so you could make dresses jumpsuits trousers whatever you wanted to the pattern that we've chosen is uh, the Pietra pants and shorts from Closet Core. Now the short pattern is another one that you could use for making um, something out of a, maybe a more expensive fabric as well because it only needs uh, 1.15 meters across the board. All of the size um, sizes on this pattern require 1.15, that's the fabric recommendation. Um, so. Uh, you could use lots of different fabrics for it as well, but we've chosen the enzyme wash linen for it. Also, remnants. You could use, you, if you see remnants that are sort of 1.1 or 1.15 or 1.2, then the shorts pan's a really good one for that as well. Um, but this um, fabric would lend itself really well to it because it's got a really nice structure to it, um, it handles really nicely and it's got really good stability. So if you're starting out sewing as well, um, using something like a linen or a like a poplin that has that structure to it, um, so it won't be shifting about all over the place when you're trying to sew it, is also a good place to start. Next up we have a viscose crepe. This is 100% viscose. It is incredibly light and flowy. It's got a beautiful drape. It's really soft and it's got that traditional crepe-like texture. It's a really versatile fabric and this is a sort of very slight off-white um, colour. We've got it in a few different colours. We've got a red, we've got black and we've also got lilac because we love lilac here. Um, but this one we've uh, picked out is the white one. It's just really fantastic, especially for summer, but also you could wear it, it could be, become part of, as everyone's going back to work now, be part of your workwear wardrobe, or it just be look really snazzy with a pair of jeans. Um, so we thought uh, to make a shirt, and the shirt pattern that we picked out was the Olia shirt from um, Paper Theory. This is a really popular shirt. Um, once again, it's a really nice, um, it's got a really nice detail where the, the, it has a seam which runs the from sort of in the middle right the way down the arm as well. So it's got some really nice, um, yeah, really nice details like that yoke there. The All you need to make this is some buttons, some interfacing, interfacing which we also sell um, and some thread now the buttons that we thought would go really nicely with it again we love a contrast and um, so we picked out the um, some pigeon wishes buttons these are the pigeon wishes shirting buttons so if you go on to our website and have a look at the buttons you'll be able to see these we've got um, a few different colorways um, which are really nice and we've got some new ones that have just come in in the last couple of weeks as well so um, keep those in mind when you're making a shirt because they are the perfect size so yeah this fabric though it is just so beautiful it's so wafty really nice and drapey and you'll feel 
just fantastic wearing it. Our next fabric is a rib knit. This is a really great fabric for summer and we've got um, a lot of plain coloured ribs but we've also got some stripy ones so this is one of the stripy ones it is a retro inspired um, stripe it's kind of very on trend with the y2k fashions at the moment um, but i think it's got kind of 80s vibe to it as well um, so this one is got pinks it's got a teal stripe a white and a navy blue we've got another colorway as well which is light pinks and light greens which is also very nice um, it's got really fantastic stretch and recovery it's got a four-way stretch so it goes stretches in all the different directions now the um, pattern that we thought would be really great for that we've got a few patterns we've got the the Nico dress um, from true bias is um, a really good for rib rib knits but also the Zoe tank dress um, tank and dress from true bias which is PDF only Jenny's gonna put a picture somewhere around here um, and it's a really fantastic pattern it as I said it is PDF only but it comes in three different lengths it's a really great tank top for summer but also for layering through um, autumn winter and into spring all year round basically um, and it's got a soft V neck and then it's got a scoop back as well which is really nice detail these straps are made from the same fabric as the main body of it so you can just um, like self rib using this um, but yeah, it's this is a really soft fabric. It's also got really nice drapes. So if you were to make the dress version, which has a kind of slightly flared skirt, um, it would just move really nicely as well. The last fabric I'm going to talk to you about today is a is a collection of swimwear fabrics. Now we have a lot of different swimwear fabrics, which are really gorgeous. They are all made from Econil. Now, for those who don't know what Econil is or Econil it is regenerated nylon these fabrics are a nylon lycra mix so they have that swimwear durability and stretch and also that um lovely swimwear feel um now the regenerated part is that this fabric is made from pre and post industrial waste so they collect up all the um, things like discarded fishing nets from the sea and they turn it into swimwear fabrics like this for you to enjoy so we have I think eight different colors in the plains we've got this amazing um, kind of aqua green color but then we've also got navy burgundy and black and we've got hot pink as well um, we've just got a bunch of different colors um, the other one that uh, is really beautiful is a coral peach, um, but this is the one we're going to show you today. So this one is the aqua green, as I said, it's a really gorgeous, minty, aqua -y, amazing bright colour. So um, those are the planes. And then we've got some new patterned ones, which we love. We've got, I think, two of the pattern ones we got in last week. We've got two of them left and they are incredible. So this one is called the Techno Check. It's a kind of opera inspired, um, wibbly wobbly checkerboard in pink and white. It's incredible. As you can see, it's got this kind of optical illusion, um, kind of looks like it's undulating across the fabric. It's so beautiful. Um, you'd think that it would be a bit see-through because it's printed on white, but actually it's got really good opacity too. But we do have white and black lining. So the black lining that we have is a recycled and the white one unfortunately isn't, but they're basically the same and they are really good as well. So if you wanted to line it, um, which some swimsuits do call for, um, we've got white and black. The other fabric I wanted to highlight today is this one. It's called Groovy Wave and it is glorious. This one I think is our favorite in the studio. It's a kind of golden yellow and a lavender purple, um, wibbly wobbly kind of psychedelic print. It's just fantastic. As you can see, it runs all the way down the fabric lengthwise um, and we just love it. So we've actually got four swimwear patterns in stock at the moment. Um, we've got the Coralie from um, Tilly and the Buttons. This is a new pattern. It came out um, a month ago, about. Um, it's a really great pattern. It's um, All of these patterns have the option for a swimsuit and a bikini. So this one has um, 
loads of different options in fact but the really nice thing about it is that it's got this frill detail which goes all the way around the neckline all the way around the back um, as you can see here on the line drawing um, but we thought now bear with us that on the frill because we know that it won't stretch but on the frill you could add some new of our new rickrack so if you were going to make the frill you're going to make it in something like this you could add the rickrack onto this kind of rickrack pattern it would look just amazing on the frill going up we love that sort of thing so don't forget to embellish why not it's summer so um yeah and also you can color block like they have so if you wanted like a plain bottoms you could go for a jazzy top or you could go for um a patterned front and a plain back i mean there are all sorts of options as well open to you so just keep those in mind too if you wanted to buy you could just buy half a meter of each of the colors and each of the patterns the next one we're going to show you is the Cottesloe from Megan Nielsen. This is a really great swimsuit. It's kind of like a more traditional swimsuit. So it's got the, um, it's got the sort of built in straps that go straight into the it's kind of the like grown on straps. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's got a more traditional um, swimming um, costume style, um, but it's got some really nice details. So like on the back of the swimsuit, you can add um, a little tie across the back um and then it's got a couple of different bikini options as well so this is a really nice option if you're looking for something a bit plainer so the next one is the um ipswich swimsuit and one piece and bikini from cashmere this one's a really good one if you're of a slightly fuller bust um it goes up to a size h um and size is 12 to 28. if you're looking for something that kind of supports you a bit more then this is a very good option and last but not least, we have the Faye swimsuit from Closet Core. Now this one is a new pattern from Closet Core, and um, this one's a really nice one as well because it's got the it's got and again lots of options for a swimsuit and also the bikini. So it's got the higher. I should say that all of these patterns have the option for like a high waisted um, bikini bottom and a kind of more bikini bikini style. Um, but this one has strappier sort of spaghetti strap style um, straps and it's got lots of different options um, once again including a tie back and also you can have a slightly more sort of like jazzy sports bra -y kind of vibe going on in the back but yeah this one's a really nice one now we're all going to be making swimsuits this summer because why not it's really hot um, get down the lido um, and we've all picked out just basically we are going to make colour blocked versions so you can mix and match also that's another good thing so if you wanted to make two bikinis you can make them um, in lots of different colours and then you can just mix and match um, your tops and your bottoms so yeah we can't wait to see what people are making with the swimwear fabric thank you so much for joining us this week we hope you enjoyed our showcase of summer fabrics we really loved picking them out and we've got some really jazzy new numbers including this fabric which we love and we've just seen it next door to the aqua green swimwear and we think that that's a fab combo for going away on holiday or sitting beside the lido or just even sitting in the park um so um we're really excited also by the addition of rick rack to our um to our online shop we can't wait to see what people are going to make with rickrack. Put it on a collar, put it around the bottom of a dress, um, put it on your swimsuit. Um, so yeah, we're really excited to see that popping up on our social media. So don't forget to um, find us on social media, but also don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment below on which your favorite fabrics are and also what kind of content you want to see um, here on the Sew Me Sunshine YouTube channel because we are going to try and mix things up a bit. We're going to have a few more tutorials and we're going to be using the YouTube Shorts function as well. So don't forget to look over there. So, um, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye.